are you using plastic saucers for your beautiful containers, your saucers that you have inside of your home? Throw them out and I'll show you one of my favorite hacks that I like to use for my indoor large planters. We're going to be planting up all of these beautiful flowers here. I'm going to show you all one of my hacks that I like to use from the Dollar Tree or should we say the Dollar 25 tree? But before we run out to the Dollar Tree, we need to get these beauties pre-soaked. And so I'll show you how we're going to do that now. one of these pizza pans up underneath the concrete urns because that way we can properly water. I don't want my brick floor here in my greenhouse to be stained by water. So what I've been doing is I've been lightly watering and because of that, my plants have suffered. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. This hollowbore container is right by the door. So it gets a lot of air movement from the doorway here. So I have to water this hollowbore container a lot more than the other one. Now this hollowbore container right here looks absolutely amazing. The flowers still look good. Nothing is draping because it's well hydrated. And that is because it's further away from the door than the hollowbore container over there. We'll start off by using these pizza pans. And guess what? Even though we paid $1.25 for them, it's certainly going to elevate the look in this room. The key to any mum is to make sure you start off with a well hydrated mum. These are daisy mums here and we're going to be using these to plant up the concrete containers to give them a more springtime look because I don't know about you but I'm ready to get outside and start planting a lot of beautiful containers. So since I can't, what I do is I like to come in in different rooms in my home. I like to plant up different collections. I like to bring colors in, bring colors out, and that way I'm always doing something when it comes to planting interior, exterior, however I can plant. I'm going to get my hands on some flowers. Let's pop these babies in. come out and I had to grab my terracotta ceramic pots here. I recently planted up a beautiful arrangement and I do have one more daisy mum that's left over. I'm going to take one of these containers, more than likely the smaller size, and what we're going to do is we're going to bring the daisy mum and we're going to pop it inside of this planter. So you guys, we got these. Before we go into the greenhouse, I do want to stop and I want to give you all an update on the Lizzie Anthus that we planted up a few weeks ago, a few days ago. I can't keep counting this time. And I want to give you all an update, give you a little sneak peek on some of the little seedlings that I have. So let's hop in there and make sure they're okay and then we'll take care of these pots. I need to be careful before I break them. Boop. What we got. Look at that. All right, we need to water. And so pretty soon you should start to see water just fill in.
grab the Lysianthus. Lysianthus seedlings are so small that oftentimes you really can second guess yourself if you've actually germinated the seed. Magnify this. Here's our Lysianthus seedling. Here's another seedling. We move it back a bit. Here's another seedling. So there are not many cells that do not have a seedling in it that has emerged from the seed. There is quite a bit of algae on top of the soil blocks. I'm not really concerned about that because now that we have removed our humidity tent, the blocks will start to dry out. We want our lysianthus to start drying out in between waterings. This is going to assist with the algae formation and growth on top of the soil blocks. I will be adding some cinnamon. That's one of the remedies that I like to use is going to help us fight the algae and I'll definitely keep you guys updated on how everything looks. This is the time where I go in, I take my humidity tent. After I take my humidity tent off, then I move them to a cooler place because now it's very important for me to make sure my Lysianthus seedlings do not overheat because if they overheat, then it's going to put them into a resting phase or rosetting. So now that I know that these are germinated, I had good success with this batch, I'm going to go ahead and move them to a cooler place and basically leave them there the cooler, the better. Not going to be going on a heat mat. They're just going to be giving light at this time. And they'll continue to grow on until I get ready to plant them out in my garden. Now, let's go check out these beautiful flowers that we have. So, I have this pot here. And it's exactly like the pot that's here on the table. So it's the same exact match here. And so we do have one more Daisy Mom left over from our arrangements that we planted up. And I'll show you guys that in just a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we are going to plant up a beautiful arrangement that's going to only complement our arrangement that we have here. Now, although the flowers that we have on this Daisy Mom, they're a uh, pink color. You can see them in different shades of pink. So it's the perfect mom to pair with our Kramer's Red Heather here. And it has those pink tones. It has a lot of chartreuse, which we're bringing that in off the Frosty Fern. But we can also give a nod to our yellow here and it really fits in almost perfectly with our Daisy Mom. It really just adds flow to everything. For all of my containers that I have sitting inside of my sunroom, what I like to do, and I do this outside as well, I'll go in and I'll use just a coffee filter. And what the coffee filter does is it helps to prevent the soil from falling out the bottom. That way it can conform to the pot a little bit. A little bit of soil. I'm gonna pop this in just like this. Now these daisy mums can stand to be cleaned up a little bit. You have some that have broken just from being just pushed up against one another. So this is going to be my front. So like what I'm doing now is I don't necessarily like the shape of this one. So I'm just going to cut it down all the way at the base. 
and it's one that's kind of withered away. So I just come in and I clean that up real quick. And here we go. Here's our new product. Everything's planted up. The planter is looking exactly the way that I want it to look. And I'm not going to be replacing this planter that's right here on my table. This beauty is going to go to another area in my sunroom. And I'm so excited to have these beautiful beauties here in bloom. And I love the way that everything turned out. It's exactly the way I want it to be. And even though we are in the winter time, I love for my greenhouse in different areas of my home to look like we are in full on flower time mode. I mean, we are giving flower power. You can definitely see the different hues of pink. They're so angelic and it is definitely a nod to the arrangement that we have here to here. Drop down in the comment box. I want to know what you think about us coming in and adding these beautiful daisy mums to the greenhouse here.